Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Kinsey. I'm 23, I live in Dallas, Texas. I make a lot of lifestyle videos, fitness, health, cooking, wellness, product faves, vlogs. If you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram. I'm posting to stories daily. TikTok, the works. It's all below. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming a current favorite. I don't feel like I filmed one of these in quite some time. I have a lot of things that I've been absolutely loving, so I'm going to share them with you guys. As always, I will have everything linked down below if you guys want to shop. Alright guys, I wanted to share this app, Baki, with you. It's really cool. It's a combined workout and meal plan that gets you better results. It's cool because it isn't a diet, but it's actually like this life-changing meal plan that just makes your life so much easier. There's a shopping cart and recipes, which means you're not really wondering what's for dinner. Baki is also an AI physician that can diagnose over 300 diseases and will save you from having to sit in a waiting room. The app also allows you to take pictures of your meals and calculate the number of calories it tracks your nutrition. The app specializes in meal planning, so it's great on its own, but it also goes well with the workout plan. You guys can use code Kinsey for 10% off. I will have it linked below. We're going to start off with skincare favorites. The first favorite I have for you guys is insane. So this is the Inkyless Hyaluronic Acid. Unbelievable and it is $7.99. Guys, I have purchased hyaluronic acids and just skincare products that are almost $100. This is $7.99 and I actually like it better. I also like the Ordinary one, but I honestly like this one a little bit better and it's just a few dollars cheaper. I actually work with them on my podcast. If you guys didn't know I have a podcast, go listen. And I love them, but even before they were a sponsor on the podcast, my mom had told me about them and my entire family is on the inky list and I just cannot say enough good things. I've been trying out their new products as well. Pretty much for skincare, I just switch between the inky list and Curology. Those are like my two go-tos, but I am so impressed by this. $7.99, guys. You need to get this. I don't know if this counts as like skincare, but I'm gonna put it in. It's the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. So I keep this in my nightstand, and this is what I use overnight. I am someone who cannot have chapped lips ever. Even yesterday, my friends were like, you put on your products like 15 times a day. Which I'm sure is actually like contributing to the problem, I know, but I just cannot have chapped lips ever. This stuff is so good for overnight. You wake up and your lips are still hydrated, which is a big thing for me. So I really love this product. I like Bite Beauty as a whole for lip products, but this is like my current go-to. I have some body products, which I feel like count in the skincare category, I don't know. Okay, the first one, this is the Kapari Hydrating Body Wash. So this, I believe, is my second or third of this one. I love this so much. It's actually hydrating. I feel like with body washes, it can make my skin dry and tight really easily. And this stuff, one, smells so good, but two, it does the exact opposite. My skin feels so hydrated and amazing after I actually am out of this, so I need to order a new one today. Best body wash I have ever used in my entire life. I cannot say enough good things about it, especially if you're someone who self tans because you really want to keep your skin hydrated. This is the best. Next thing I've been loving is the Summer Fridays Summer Skin Nourishing Body Lotion. This stuff also smells really good. It's not too overpowering to where it will like clash with perfumes or anything, but I put this on every time I get out of the shower and just honestly sometimes randomly throughout the day. It is so good. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's not too oily. I mean, honestly, it is exactly what you want in a body lotion, 10 out of 10. The self tanner I've been using is the Lux Unfiltered Hydrating Self Tanning Cream. I have talked about this on the channel so many times. Savan Ayla, who's a blogger who I love following, it's her brand. I will give you my reasoning, right? You see this, well right now I don't have white bedding on, I normally have white bedding on, I have white sheets at least. And I am Irish. My grandma's maiden name is literally Maureen Delaney. She has red hair. Like, I'm very Irish, right? I don't tan. I burn very easily. I have, like, the worst sunburn photos growing up. It's just not okay. So I self-tan rather than tan outside. I'm also impatient. Whatever. So with self-tanning, there's a lot of problems, right? One, ruining all of your white clothes. That was, like, my main thing because I love wearing white. And then also, it's sticky. It doesn't smell good. It's just there's so many problems. I'm telling you, there is not one single problem with this. It is a gradual self tanner, but you get enough color within one use. Like, I probably will apply this like twice a week, if that, and it gives you the perfect color. It's not streaky. You can apply it just with your hands, no mitt needed, which is crazy. It doesn't ruin your clothes, it doesn't ruin your sheets. Like, I literally will wear all white after applying this, and it doesn't get on my clothes. It is the craziest thing. It's also really moisturizing. It's just the best self tanner I have ever used. Like, nothing compares. I can do an entire video on self tanning if you guys want. Um, there are other self tanners I will use if I want more of like an instant darker color. 
But just for like everyday use, this is my go-to. There's nothing like it. On to perfumes. So I am almost completely out of the Replica Mace Margiela by the Fireplace perfume. This stuff is so good. I love all of their scents. I love their perfumes. I love everything they come out with. It's just the best thing ever. But this one smells so bomb. Keaton was here. Keaton bought it right after and was like, that's just the best thing I've ever smelled. It's a really different kind of scent. I also like that they're unisex, like it's cool. You guys, as you can see, we're almost out of it. I love it. It is a warmer, more like masculine scent, but it's not too masculine to the point where you're like, I smell like my boyfriend. It still smells really good. It's like a good in-between. I think it's a great gift. Honestly, like this is my favorite scent ever. I'm obsessed with it. Then I got this one because Molly was telling me to have a new scent. It's the bubble bath one. I love this. I think it's perfect for spring. I got it in a sample. I think I'm gonna buy it full size. You just smell so good. It's very light and airy and just clean smelling. I don't know. I feel like it's like my new spring summer scent. So for makeup, this probably will not come as a surprise to you, but I absolutely love my Sephora Best Skin Ever foundation. This stuff is so good. It's not too heavy on your face. It's a little bit natural looking while giving you a little more coverage. It evens out your skin tone. Your skin just, it will never look better. It's also $20. This foundation is only $20, guys. I wanna get like four different shades just because I'm always self tanning. I'm always a different color. But this is so good. I wear the shade 23Y. I need to get a lighter one as well, but it's really great. I apply it with a brush. I apply it with a Sephora 64 brush. I also really like that. I honestly should have been in the video like below as well, but it's so bomb. I just do one pump, apply it on, and honestly, if I don't put anything over, it kind of doesn't even look like I'm wearing makeup. It just looks so good. Again, $20. Like, cannot recommend this enough. I don't remember the last time I was even that into a foundation, and this has really just been the biggest game changer for me. I have some Hourglass powders. I have always loved hourglass powders. I've probably been using at least this one, the dim light one, on and off for the past like four or five years. It is so bomb. It's really good. It's one of those products that you don't think you need, but once you start using it, you can't go back. So I'm gonna start off talking about this one. Again, I've talked about this on my channel on and off for the past like probably four or five years. It's really great. I used to use this. I would do one pump of the It Cosmetics CC Cream and then set it with this powder and it gives you this beautiful glow. You just look so healthy and happy and glowing. So it's kind of the perfect product. It's so beautiful. It just, I don't even know how to describe it. It gives you the most beautiful, healthy, looking glowy finish if you're looking for healthy glowy bouncy looking skin this is the secret weapon like you need to get this product i've also been using their bronzer this is the luminous bronze light these are their ambient powders really pretty um i've just been loving that as well it gives me a really nice glowy look i don't like when my skin is super like matte and kind of dull looking i think maybe because I'm a little more pale or maybe like it's my complexion. I don't know what it is, but I'm always looking to make my skin glow. And I've really been loving that bronzer. I was using the Marc Jacobs bronzer for a while. And for some reason it kind of started to become muddy and I don't think it's them, I think it's me. But that is probably my favorite bronzer I've ever used. I also have a blush, I love blush, but I don't feel like I try out like a ton of different ones and they sent these to me, but this isn't sponsored. I started using this one and it just gives me like the perfect like pink kind of peachy, rosy, doesn't even make sense, but you get what I'm saying. Color to my skin, and I've been loving that. This is Sublime Flush. Really good. The next thing I got, another rec from Molly. It is the Dior Lip Glow Oil, Color Reviver in Cherry Oil. So I got this in Raspberry, and I also got the pink one. I like this one a little bit better just because it gives you a little bit more color. Look at the applicator. Like, so beautiful. That is like the perfect applicator if I've ever seen one. I love it because it's an oil, so it's really hydrating to your lips, but at the same time gives me a little bit of color, and it looks like a gloss while it doesn't really feel like a gloss. It's not like sticky, my hair doesn't get stuck in it, and I just love this, especially because it's hydrating. That's always what I'm looking for. It is so good. So moving on into clothes, um, I actually don't have these leggings with me, but I've been posting them nonstop, so I'll post some photos <laughs> that I've been wearing in them. But I got the leggings that everyone has been talking about on Amazon. They are Lulu Lemon Align Dupes, right? So those are like, I think like $108 or something. They're the softest leggings ever. But there are ones on Amazon that are dupes that are only $26 that feel the exact same way. Like other people have been like, oh my God, those are so soft. They are 
so good i originally got them in a size medium and i went and ordered a few other pairs in a size small they actually have a chocolate brown pair and if you guys remember around winter time lulu came out with chocolate brown aligns and then they disappeared and sold out and i was never able to get them i've gone in like so many times and i found them on amazon so i finally got the leggings they're only 26 dollars. they feel just like the lululemon align leggings run don't walk i bought four pairs and long story short i ordered a medium decided i needed a small because the mediums were a little bit big so i got a small if that matters okay the next thing i've been wearing you guys will not be surprised it is my favorite pair of shoes i've ever owned as you guys know chocolate brown is my favorite color i'm literally wearing all chocolate brown right now these shoes are the best things that ever happened to me and yes they're actually shoes i wear them every single day i absolutely love them i will say they did give me blisters Beauty is pain. Put some band-aids on. It's totally worth it. I need those shoes in every single color because if I'm not wearing sneakers with dresses, I'm going to be wearing those with dresses. So freaking cute. I will link them below. I'm obsessed with them. I wear them 24-7. I really just feel like they're me in a shoe and I love them. Another thing I've been wearing are these scrunchies from Amazon. I got a pack of five, I think for like $11. I'll link them below. I have a ton of different colors. I'm constantly wearing, of course, the chocolate brown one, but I love the pink one. I just wear them 24-7. They feel better on my hair. I think they're really cute and I've just been loving them. Another thing I have been loving is this, I know we're shocked, another chocolate brown piece. So I have this chocolate brown set from Artless. So this is Maddie Orlando's clothing line that she sent me and I am obsessed. I'm wearing this sweats right now. Um, I love this chocolate brown set. I think it's so cute. I love the material. It's really soft. It's not too heavy, so it's kind of perfect for this time of year, but I just love it. Also, I have my favorite pair of denim. They're actually from Princess Polly, and I'm really, really picky with denim, and I will splurge on denim. So the fact that these are my favorite pair of jeans, and they're only like $60, and you can pretty much always get a Princess Polly code. I don't have one right now, but I always just type in like Princess Polly code into YouTube and find one, and you can always get 20% off. These specifically, I actually like the ones that aren't asymmetrical but have the same fit, but those are in the wash right now. I'll post photos on the screen. These are the best fitting denim ever. They're straight leg, they fit around your waist so well. They just, oh guys, I just absolutely love them. I cannot say enough good things about them. I know I've talked about them in videos before. I wanna get every single color, every single shade, every single thing they ever have in this fit. So they have. They have these that are the asymmetrical cut, which are like very trendy, really cute. Everyone's been loving them. And then they also have just like a normal um, like waistline, waistband. Um, and I like those more just because they're like more simple. But I think these are really fun and really cute. These are my two go-to pairs of jeans. I wear them 24-7. Cannot say enough good things about them. They're seriously the best. Moving on to my random favorites. Um, my Hydro Flask has made it back. I lost my old one. I had a white one. I think it was a 32 ounce. This is the 40 ounce. And they are so expensive. So it took me like months to finally be like, okay, I'm gonna buy another one because when I have one of these, I drink water nonstop, especially with my liquid IV, my fave. So good. I just, when you have a Hydro Flask, I feel like you just drink so much more water. It's worth it. Actually, I don't know. Get a dupe maybe. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, but I will say my water does stay cold the entire time. And it's something that I use every single day. So I ultimately don't mind paying like a little bit more for it. Really great. I carry it with me everywhere. It's like always, I have like a stack of things I take from room to room in my house as I'm working and this is always with it, so. Okay, you guys are going to hate me because I don't think these are on the website anymore, but look at how beautiful this H&M candle is. I think it was like $14. I saw on a like to know it post, someone posted all these candles under $20 and I was so in love with this that I literally bought four. So I have them all throughout my house and I've not been able to find the link. I've been trying to share it with you guys since I got them and they're not online, so I will double check. If not, I'll link a really similar one because H&M has other ones. I just think they're so cute. Like, this is perfect. I'm a big candles sort of gal. There's always candles burning in my house. I love the vibe, but also I love this as decor. I just think it's so cute. Another candle that's made its way back into my life, the volcano candle. If you guys have ever walked into anthropology and it smells amazing, it's because they're burning the volcano candle. It's been one of my like staple candles, I think, my entire life. And I got one again anytime anyone's at my house. They're like, your house smells so good. I'm like, you know what, thank you for anthropology. And there we are. I will link it below if you guys haven't gotten it. It's really good. Also, life hack, you guys can go to Target and if they have the Island Moonlight candle, it's half the price. It's $15. I would definitely recommend that. I just happened to be in anthropology and they were on sale. So anytime they're on sale, I pick them up because they just smell so good. They look so good in your house and they just put me in like the best mood. As someone who's a homebody and is here like 24 seven, I love it. My last random fave, which I guess this isn't a random, I know it's another chocolate brown item. We're shocked, right? 
I got this Prada bag. I have the other strap, but honestly, I took the strap off like last week and I just keep wearing it like this and I think I almost like it better. It is the best bag. There's another strap, as you guys know. We'll post a photo. I wear it just day to day. This is great for like a night out. I just love this bag. I wear it 24 seven. It is so perfect. I cannot say enough good things about it. If you guys are on the fence and you're seriously considering buying it, I couldn't recommend it enough. Like it is just truly the best bag and I'm completely obsessed with it. So I would definitely recommend, I'll link it below. It's just my fave. For music faves this past month, I have been on a big country kick. That's how you know I'm happy in life. I have a Spotify playlist called Yeehaw Bops 2.0 and another one that's Yeehaw Bops that's collaborative. I didn't make another one because the collaborative just got too long and it was just too all over the place. If you guys need good country music to listen to, I know most of you probably hate country, it's whatever. I've also been listening to Taylor Swift a lot recently. Um, you know, there's just a lot going on in the Swifty world. Um, and I just love Taylor, so. Um, also the new music, everything, you know, I'm into it. So for my recent book faves, I'm gonna give you guys three. The first one is The Butcher by Jennifer Hillier. I think that's how you say her last name. She also wrote Little Secrets, which is one of my all-time favorite books. I have never told someone in my life to read that book and then not gotten raving reviews back, okay? The Butcher is so different from everything I've ever read. I would say it's probably more, of, it's a psychological thriller. No, it isn't. What would it even be? I don't really know how to describe it. It follows this girl who's like following this serial killer in the Pacific Northwest. She believes this killer killed her mother, but supposedly he had died before. It is just so good. Like it's so not what I would normally read. It's a little bit even different than a thriller. I love like a good thriller and romance. Room. Take a shot every time I say thriller right now. I personally love romance and thriller and honestly like young adult books. However, this one is totally different than what I've read and Jennifer Hillier is one of my favorite authors and I cannot recommend this book to you enough. It was so good. Another book that is a thriller that's been making its rounds around town. What? I don't know. Um, it is The Silent Patient. So good, guys. I loved that book. I didn't see it coming. I really didn't. Like, I just, I absolutely love that book. I think I read it in a day. So good. Cannot recommend it enough. And then just in general, I've been loving Taylor Jenkins Reid's books. I read pretty much every book she's ever written in January. I think I read like eight books of hers and they're really, really good. Maybe I'm reading another one right now. I started reading another book last night. I can't remember what we're reading, whatever. Anything by her, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo is so good. I would start there. And then that one honestly is really different from her other reads. I didn't love Daisy Jones and the Six, but I did love Evelyn Hugo, and then I love all of her other romance books, so. That is it for today's video. Let me know if you guys like these current faves. I will link everything below. Comment down below, video request. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Well, let's talk about that, because here's the thing about over-delivering. You know, usually, and you're, you're one of them, honestly, you know, Kenzie, it's like, we are highly capable women like can get things done but what you're lacking if you're over delivering and over functioning sort of indiscriminately what is lacking is the discernment of who is in your vip section of your life because i want you to think about your vip section as the people who there's mutuality right they they go the extra mile for you too so there should be an expectation that there's mutuality in your friendships and in your love relationships and in some family relationships and maybe not family. It depends on your family and how close you are and whatever, because there's nothing wrong, right, with being, giving things 110%.